The following is to demonstrate the usefulness of our ultraviolet powders for marking people, assets, etc. We can do it with visible powders or invisible product. Products can be water-based or solvent-based. Solvent-based works better than the water-based, but the water-based does um, have its place and is practical. What we've done here is just a quick demonstration of uh, spraying a yellow and a green ultraviolet product onto a brown door dark surface so it doesn't really show up brightly like that under normal lighting conditions it was applied with just a squirty bottle like this the reason for this is that we can spray the product over items tools as you can see here on the generator on the boxes generator there and other boxes there the plan is that when somebody touches these things or walks on the floor as you can see there are some on the floor there um, that the product sticks to them their clothes etc so we can identify them later so should they be caught in an area where they shouldn't have been by applying the ultraviolet light or looking at them you will see these colors the ultraviolet light will shine up nicely as we'll see just now so what we're going to do is switch off the light and apply the ultraviolet light before i do that my hand has got nothing on it i'm going to just rub on there and you will see slight green on there on my other hand you will see slight yellow now these are porous surfaces so the product doesn't come off very easily on this smooth surface over here you can wipe it and you can see it there with the yellow now if i rub my fingers you'll see it comes off but it's there okay it might not look like very much but we'll see just now when we put the light on on the generator i'm just gonna rub the back of my hand on it you'll see some of it comes off it's not meant to stick permanently now this is a visible ultraviolet there it is so let's switch off light put on the ultraviolet and we see the results so we'll see there's a bit of ambient light because the curtains are open and so you can still see a little bit of product on the walls there now remember just now i touched it with my hands it's my hand i'm going to put on the ultraviolet light and you can see it shining quite reflecting quite nicely my other hand there that was from touching just wiping my hand against it the back of my hand from the generator look at that so this can be placed in mining shafts areas where you don't want people to go into look at that luminous luminescence it is amazing we have different colors we have nine different colors in total that was a water-based one this is a solvent based one so it's the same product but look look at the difference when the ultraviolet light comes on there the uv uh, the solvent based one just works so much better there we have a pink i'm going to rub my hand on it back of my hand and we'll put the light on there there we go some of these colors are not very visible under normal lighting conditions some of them are but as soon as you put the ultraviolet light on there we go so you can spray it you can apply it to your tools but now remember it's not a permanent uh, product it, it will come off so you will need to apply it every now and then on the floor so the camera battles a little bit with the ultraviolet light there we go look at that and look at that and you can see there on the floor so if anybody happens to walk in it you just look underneath the shoe and there it is 
So there are many applications for this product and the way that we apply it. I'm sure you will find many uses for this.